Hello and welcome back to episode 25 of The Outer Worlds. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. So as it turns out, I don't think I have access to Byzantium. So we're not going to go assassinate some chimerist that's collaborating with an alien conspiracy. I assume we'll get there eventually. So instead, we're going to go steal this Borst factory from Clive. Let's we'll see what happens. Can I talk to peoples? Do I have to just pass through? Here they come. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Borst factory reputation decreased? Why would they be upset with me? I just can't understand why a bit of hostile negotiation would be considered inappropriate. not hit hard enough. Somebody's behind me. There you are. Can I get up there? I don't think I can. <clears throat> but they're coming down to me. Still got more active hostiles. Guys failed. How was I supposed to get that? Coward with prejudice. Parvati, pat yourself up. I think we have more combat ahead of us. Yeah, there's still guys out. Another factory ID cartridge. I don't know. Huh. They must have lost track of me. 5% surcharge. For having made people angry. I don't know what's worse. The taste of forest and beans, or the stench that comes later. Well, I'm glad you guys are so enthusiastic about the product that you make. I don't know what's worse. The taste of worst and beans or the stink. Everybody says the same thing, apparently. Oh, look at that. They got a cute little glass privacy shield in their turlet. Factory ID cartridges everywhere. What happened to the other... Company property. What's company property? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Hmm. Whatever I want. No. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Yeah. Oh. Clever. The 
thought there were some more people. I already looted that. No? Okay. Well, I guess we'll just head into the next area. Wait, did I check the other bathroom? I might not have. Ah, see, now I've used up one of my ellipses. So that's what it is. My shroud runs low. I pass a speech check. I get a refill. And I lose an ellipsis. And apparently... Everyone is allowed here. Even though it's not possible to get here. Without passing through a place that you're not allowed. Whisper quiet muzzler. Nice. I don't think I need to do anything there right now. Um. Thank you. Let's focus on the objective for now, he said as he ignored the objective. I'd like to know where Cecil is, please. Over there. Look at that, some sister pigs, some disgusting worms. He's not down here. This isn't helping. I'm gonna have to start murdering people again soon. How's this gonna get me where I'm going? This is headed in the right direction. I need to find somebody to pass a speech check with. Oh, come on. My goodness. I'm gonna die. There it goes. That's really rude, Sam. That was a really long area to traverse with the hollow thingy. Really? All the way back out here? Ugh. Alright, no looting. I'll do it after. Just go for the objective. Excuse me. I got places to be. If I'm not looting, I might be able to get further on a charge. But maybe not far. I wonder if there are items I can use to recharge my my battery. Yeah, see, I'm still going to run out right here in this room. Security patrol initiated. Here they come! Wow, that didn't take long, did it? More? More. Lots more. Come on. Pop your head up, jerk. Thank you. Are we done? We are not done. Are 
are we done now? Not quite. I don't have to murder those guys, do I? No, I don't. Ask me more about it, not where he can hear us. Hard to sneak this onto your data pad. Delete after reading. Just be careful. All I know is Tammy spied Slaughterhouse Clive feeding the Sisties some questionable meat. Awful bloody with bones picking out of it. <coughs> Says later she found a hand in the trough. She screamed. Now Tammy's been downsized too, and the kit pigs keep getting fatter. Oh. Slaughterhouse Clive sounds like a real piece of work. Now, where... Where's the aggro? They lost sight of me. <coughs> Robophobia. No! No reason for me to be a fear to robots when I've killed so many of them. <clears throat> Adjustments are not reckon increased production rate by 200%, except I said I didn't want to sabotage the factory previously. So I'm not going to do that. Are we in Clive's office now? Are you Clive? Whoa now. And just what do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. You've got blood on your shirt. Certain things require a mess to do well. See, I was just killing sometimes. I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody borstwurst. Those parts are from Sister Pigs? I do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of borstwurst. On occasion, I like to imbibe other parts of the Sister Pig. Did you fancy me a cannibal? Perish the thought. No, I don't eat the bodies, I disappear. A joke that last was. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. Is he looking at me? Oh, law. He is absolutely surely giving me the complete creeps. While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Let us move forward with the present proceedings. I mean, there's a good chance I'm about to kill you, so... Sublight sent me to kill you, but I'm sure we can work something out. By Sublight, you mean Catherine, do you not? That greedy, star-crossed sow. Listen, friend. The Borst King of Monarch does not negotiate with coveters. How about you bring me Catherine's severed head, and I will gift you a lifetime supply of Borst. What if you partnered it up? You desire that I should lower myself to Catherine's level of crassness and filth? I cannot fathom how that would cotton myself. The king built this golden monopoly brick by brick from the rubble when the corpse abandoned Monarch. No, he ain't the sort to partner up, as that requires the sharing of power and profits. Buddy, I really am about to kill you. 
I get the sense you've disappeared bodies before. For true? You figure she will appreciate my skills? They did take me years to perfect. However, I remain unconvinced she could provide the means to make the association worth my while. If you ain't noticed, I'm doing swell, ruling this kingdom on my own. <laughs> Catherine wants the factory. I do admire a properly ruthless individual. If it will keep that sublight sow off my back, then it's an undoubtedly worthwhile pursuit. The king is interested. John Hancock me on the dotted line, friend. I will even <clears throat> give her a cut of the profits, requiring she keeps clear of my short hairs. Glad you came to your senses. Do not push me. I am not one to suffer insults. Tell Catherine she is permitted to dump the bodies each and every Tuesday, precisely at 3 a.m. Uh, you know what? I really don't like you after all. You knee knocking, gorse shitting sack of organs! That guy just rubbed me the wrong way. Oh, who am I stealing from? Well, they don't seem to be very offended by the theft in any case. What do we got here? Personnel files. All files have been terminated. Personal files. Who, have, who would have thought it, am I right? Whole factory, right per the taking. None the wiser save for me. And now the king, I reckon, who is also me, but different. Better. I know it ain't wise to be so fanciful, but it grows so lonely. Just me and the pigs and the machinery. And now the king. But others will come soon, though. To work for me, the laborers. Got to start small. Then we'll build, and we'll feed, and we'll feed, and we'll feed. The king can scarcely believe how well, ahem, how awful fine, it's all gone. I came from nothing, but now I'm a self-made man, rich in meat and money beyond what one can believe. Power and privacy are mine. Everything I ought ever to desire is mine except for... And the king, he may not have been with me from the beginning, but he was the first to arrive. He kept me from being alone. That is for true. Don't think I could forget or escape that fact. Think I got it. Any personnel, and I don't care if they be a line worker or the janitor or a star's damn sister pig, we shall tell them to call the king by his rightful moniker and do it properly. None of this slaughterhouse clive pig shit or I will show them a slaughter they won't ever forget. Did I make myself clear enough? Yes? Marvelous. That ought to do it. Yeah, I think... I think I'm cool with killing him. Clive's special borst. Why not? Probably never going to find that anywhere else. What is this? Where is this going to go? Are we going to find some horrors down here? No, we're just back on the factory floor. Alright, well, I got my goodies. I killed the peoples. I suppose the workers aren't going to like me very much. But I don't know that I really have much cause to come back here. And I think I'll survive if I do. Is there another one? I thought there was another. Yeah, there we go. Already got those. Okay. I don't know what's worse. The taste of Borston beans or the stench of the company.
did leave a bunch of stuff behind back on the way in. And some mechanicals as well. Sealed. Alright, what do you think the sister pigs are gonna think of me shooting up the guards? Pigs do not care. What's going on in here? I think this was just going to be another sabotage opportunity. Yeah. Wow, he made a lot of cans. Just how much borst was this guy manufacturing? There's another one over there, guys. Oh, my shield is back. I understand your priorities to the cannery machine and fixing it. It's near monthly clogs now. Did they ever find out what breed of critter creeps keeps crawling in there? But I'm telling you, there's something lodged in the drain pipe beneath the sister pig's trough. Hard to see, but in the light, I'd almost swear it was some kind of bone. Anyway, the feeding tube's backing up, so I need you to look at it. Not tomorrow, not next week, today. The trough, huh? And there's a boon. Well, is that something for me to look into? Or is it just... Ugh. What's down here, I wonder? Just a secret way in? Well, that might have been handy once upon a time. It's too late now. I don't feel a particular need to kill that last guard. But I am going to steal all of this stuff. one of the mods that I put on my armor was the one that makes uh, pick upable goodies visible from further away. And I am into it. It's definitely nice to not have to get so damn close to stuff. Factory's back online. Feels strange. Not only did I never think I'd stoop to this sort of work, but they gave me your place on the line. Wish you could have waited, just for a little while, but that's fine. Me and Cousin Isaac are right as rain we are. I never met a man so eccentric as the factory's new owner, Clive. Got a dreadful temper, he does, but he pays our wages on time, so I guess I don't rightly mind. Just, if you ain't coming back, could you, you could at least answer my darn messages. I feel like a fool sending these. Like I'm pouring my heart out into some silly diary. Maybe I'll go visit with Isaac. Haven't seen him in a few days. I cannot freaking take it any longer. I know the money's good, I know the work's steady, but core, you can't hardly fathom what it's like, day in and out. Grew up with the slimy worm, and now he's got me calling him the Borst King of Monarch, like real fragging royalty, like the myths of old. And he's always muttering to himself, or shouting, splattered with gristle or worse. But I know what happened to them fellows who got pink slips. Won't go out like that, not me. Not on account, on account of Slaughterhouse Clive. I quit. I suppose I was meant to find that earlier.
All right. I think that'll do it. Oh, hi. One normally takes one's pants down to do that. Suit yourself. Where is my way out? This way. Identifying criminal activity. Oh. oh. Problem solved. You guys are going to go after the rest of them? <laughs> oh, hey. Nice. Yeah, that wasn't a good way to go, was it? Come on, guys. Can't we just leave? We already killed the one we're contracted to kill. This way. Yes. Then this way. And then we're out. And then we're unout. I do wonder if there was more of a finesse way to handle that. But, uh... Whatever. It's just a Borst factory. On a doomed planet. Titus Androidicus. I do believe that might be a knockoff of something. I think of the settlements on Monarch. I like the decorations here the best. You seen Arthur today? And I must not be alone, because I feel like this is the most populated settlement as well. That's a lot of smoke coming from that you evicted place. Here we go. Please say the Yoda corpse you're wearing is Clive's. Some of it. He's dead. Huh. Not much boast to that declaration. Am I to take that to mean you didn't kill him? They say discretion is a virtue. You ain't wrong, but I prefer a woman of vice myself. Still, this ought to compensate for your troubles. And take an aromatic. You stink like Sisty Pig. That's enough for now. Sublight ID cartridge. I don't need one of those because Sublight likes me. Okay, well, we're almost out of time, but we might as well pick what we're going to do next, eh? Yeah, let's do a little memento. I remember that one. Forlorn Crossroads? Sure. I think maybe the uh, rebel guys have a little storefront here, maybe? Nope, different place. Alright, well I think we have a few Raptodons we can play with while we wrap up the episode. Maybe not. Maybe Marauders. They've got a mechanical over there. Somebody is excited up there that I can't see because there's a tree in the way. Parvati. All right. I did a little bit of tinkering on my rifle. I'm definitely appreciating the damage right now. And then there was one over this way. There you are. I 
And what happened to that mechanical? Why did he just wander off while all of his friends were getting killed? Oh. Here we go. Nice. That was fairly clean. I could have taken that surprise guy a little more quietly, but we made it. Someone left a ledger with a list of names, likely members of the unit that used this outpost. Some names, like an Lamont and a Delilah, are at the top of the list. Some names are crossed off only to be added later, as if that person left and rejoined. A particular note is that the name Ash is nowhere to be found. Is that because Ash sent me on this mission? Hey, PJ says you bought tickets for all of us. You didn't have to do that. I owe you. I don't know that I'll ever be able to pay you back, but thank you. D. Don't mention it. I'm attaching cords for the waterfall camp. Grab your gear and meet us there by sunup. We're finally getting off this hellhole. And the other thing that we're all finally doing is wrapping up episode 25. Because, as usual, we've run out of time. I guess it's not finally. It's happened at pretty much the usual time. A little late. In any case, come back and see me again in episode 26. And we will, I guess, go visit the waterfall camp. And uh, find out why Ash isn't on the list. Talk to you soon.